Well, hello again. Just back from the shop and I saw some sprouts that were in. Lovely, fresh, wonderful Brussels sprouts. Who does not love sprouts? Dee and I have been fancying these for a while. And only this morning we were discussing that when we find some in the shop, we'd buy all of them. We love Brussels sprouts with bacon, Yorkshire puddings and a bit of gravy. As I'm cutting the sprouts in the oven, they go with the bacon and they go with the Yorkshire pudding and gravy. I'm going to be making Brussels sprout wine. Oh yes, what be better? Never made it before, it's going to be a complete and utter experiment. It's going to be, uh, hopefully it's going to be tasty. But one of my neighbours said, when we were discussing Brussels sprout wine, said that she's pleased she's downwind from us. Oh yes. So come on, let's do the Brussels sprout wine. So I have about a, a big pan of sprouts. I don't tend to weigh stuff normally, but it's a big pan in the oven with sprouts and boiling water over them. And I cook them for a while until they're lovely and tender and strain off the liquid into my fermentation buckets. So that's step one, cook your sprouts. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm hoping sprout wine is going to be fantastic. It's worth a try. Very simple recipe for the sprout wine. Keep it absolutely down to the minimum amount of ingredients and faff and fuss. So, first thing first, sugar. No wine is complete without sugar. Apart from grape wine, which is different, and cider. But cider isn't a wine. Country wines need sugar, or honey, if it's a mead. So, anyway, yeah. Simple, sugar, tea and a half, straight into the fermentation bucket, shove it in. Pre-weighed earlier, your normal, generic, white sugar, granulated, into your bucket. Awesome, lovely stuff. Right, next. Banana. I love bananas in country wines. They really bring out the body and the depth of the wine. I always try and buy my bananas half price in the shop. When they go black and manky and perfect for winemaking, you want them dark, brown, ew, lovely stuff. So, grab your banana, peel, peel as well into the buckets. It all adds the flavour. Break your banana, shove it in. Oh yes, lovely stuff. Now, a cup of tea. A cup of tea adds brilliant tannins to a wine. You don't need to go and buy special home brew tannins from a specialist shop. To be honest, there's no point adding a tea bag to a cup to pour the cup into the bucket. You can just shove a tea bag into the bucket. It does the same job. It brews. It's tea. And next up, a sprinkle, a handful, about a cup of sultanas. More body, more flavour, more grapiness. So pour them into your bucket. Simple. I don't measure a lot of things, I just pour. It works out for me. It's a country wine. It's not meant to be measured. It's meant to be made, created, crafted. If you want to repeat the recipe sometime, you won't. Anyway, and here is my lovely wife. How are you finding being, being a mum? I love it. You love it? And how's the baby? The baby's sleeping really well. That's good. So I have time. Time to... Breathe. Breathe. That's it. <laughs> yes. 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 I love sprouts. Yes. I'm looking forward to sprouts. Absolutely. Sprout wine? Indeed. It's how in the process. How did I know? <laughs> How did she know? She knows me all too well. And then you want to add your sprout water. Lovely green colour it is. I don't like boiling sprouts. I prefer to simmer. It gets all the nutrients left inside the juice and the sprouts. Fantastic. So I pour this over the sugar, raisins, banana and the tea bag. Just pour it straight in. Smelling awesome. Give it a good stir, dissolving all of your sugar. Then you add your boiling water up to the 
One gallon mark, five litres, perfect. Another good stir, awesome stuff. I'm going to allow this to cool down to room temperature, then add the yeast and yeast nutrients, and I'll be back with you in a minute now. Well now, a few days have passed, I've added the yeast and yeast nutrients to my sprout wine mix. It's looking lovely it is. I've had a wee taste. The banana really comes through and that slight sproutiness. It's going to be fantastic. It's a bit murky coloured at the moment. I was hoping for a greener colour, you know, like typical sprout water. But hopefully the sediment will drop and leave a lovely green colour to it. So all I need to do now, strain it off and put it into a demijohn. So that's what I'm doing now. Come on. Demijohn. And your wine. Awesome stuff. Now grab yourself a calendar. Then start to pour your liquid into your bowl. Awesome. Just remove all those raisins and that bit of banana and drop your funnel into your demijohn and put it in. Easy stuff. Perfect. And now all you need to do is add your airlock and leave it to stand for a while. Let it ferment, let it bubble, let it become all lovely sprouty alcoholic -y, lovely stuff. I'll do a taste test of this when it's finished maturing. So subscribe and watch out for that alert and I'll see you again soon. Have fun.